Hey guys, Herman Morris from Alpha One Tactical here. I'm standing in front of my workbench, which means that it's time for another review. Um, today, I'm going to be taking a look at the new Streamlight TLR7A weapon mounted light right here. This is on my everyday carry, my Glock 19. And um, before this, I had the original TLR7, which is right here. This, um, this guy I've had for about two, two years, I think, maybe a little less, but at least, um, at least a year and a half. Um, and it's been pretty good. It's held up pretty well. Um, I haven't had any issues with it other than a few things that I'm going to point out when we do the tabletop review and we take a look a little bit closer. But uh, all in all, it's, it's held up pretty well. It's gone through thousands of rounds of, of ammunition mounted on my pistol. I, this is my go-to. When I teach, I usually use this one too, since, since this is the one I carry the most. I wanna be as comfortable and as proficient as possible with this one. Um, so it's got, you know, I've put, I've put the other one through its paces. This one um, looks almost identical, but it has a few key differences that uh, I wanna show you by jumping on the tabletop review. Let's do it now. All right, I went ahead and I installed the old one again, just so you guys could see here get an up close look at how it works and how it fits in my hand. So it's on, you can see that if I have my regular two handed grip with my support side, I can reach the toggle button there, no problem. But then if you look in my strong side, I can't reach the button there. So I actually have to break my grip in order to be able to reach that button. And that is just not acceptable. So um, everything other than that, the, uh, the light is great but um, it just doesn't work if you can't use it single-handedly uh, as you would most likely have to do in the event um, that you have to employ it. So here's the new one, the, 70, the TLR7A. It's the little toggle switches instead of buttons. So you can see here, it's basically the same size except for that rear cap there. And the installation and the removal are exactly the same for both of these. All you have to do is loosen that um, little screw and you're able to um, just pull it out um, to install it. Same thing, just put it back in there and just tighten it um, with your thumb as tight as you can with the thumb. And then I always like to uh, tighten it a little bit more with an actual screwdriver just to make sure that it can withstand recoil and not come loose and um, possibly even fall off if, uh, if you're shooting it. So. Um, if you can see here that um, it fits j just the same and look at how I can actually reach that toggle switch with my trigger finger now. It's if you click it, it stays on. If you stay on it, it's essentially on off. So it works exactly the same, but now the ergonom it's a lot more ergonomic, uh, a lot more reachable. So I think uh, way, way better than before. All right, so just to show you also, the profile is exactly the same. This is my um, carry holster, the one that uh, the regular TLR7 had been on, and this one fits exactly the same. All right, guys, um, I hope that was helpful. I'm pretty happy with this guy right here. I hope if it performs as well as the original, and it just has the added benefit of the, uh, the better ergonomics and the better um, you know, toggle switches here, that's gonna be great. If anything changes or if I find that it's actually not performing as it needs to be in order for you to, you know, um, trust your life to it, I'll definitely do a follow up. But again, this is just about uh, pretty much first thoughts or first impressions since I've only had this for a couple of weeks and I've only pu put uh, probably at most 500 rounds through it since I've had it. So, so far so good. I'm liking it and I like the fact that I now have access to the light with um, one single hand, especially in my, my strong, strong side, um, just as well as on my, my support side. So this is um, definitely a plus. Remember, these are supplementary guys, okay? Our primaries are always gonna be our handheld lights. So at 500 lumens, this is the same power output as the original, they're both 500. At 500, this is plenty for a secondary uh, weapon mounted light on a compact, you know, carry everyday carry pistol. And so this is perfectly fine for, for our needs uh, in that regard. 
we should always be going to our primary, using these as our primary to identify things, people, or even for controlling um, uh, any, any possible threats. So just, you know, um, keep that in mind. And, um, and the fact that it also doesn't change the cross section of it, it fits exactly the same in all of the holsters that, that already fit um, this pistol. That's an added bonus. They didn't change anything in that regard. So that's great. So I'm happy with it. If you guys have any questions or would like any other uh, details or what would like me to review anything else, please uh, let me know. You can reach me at info at alpha1tactical.com. You can also check out our class schedule where you can come put all your equipment, all your gear to the test, make sure you're proficient at it. Good um, gear shakeout um, opportunities. And um, that's at alpha1tactical.com. And we'd love to see you out there. Until next time.